Today we are here at Worlds, the first day of the major event. This is going to be the biggest flesh and blood event in history. Today it's going to start with drafting. Three rounds of that, right on to constructed. It's going to be a major event. We have the team representing. It's going to be crazy. We'll keep you updated with everything that's going on and all the cool things happening at Worlds. So stay tuned and let's get into this. As you can tell, they just announced we were at the World Championship event for Flesh and Blood. This is the main hall, the main area. Pretty huge, absolutely huge. Um, a little gray, but that's not a bad thing. I don't see a restroom either, so that could be a predicament. But this place is massive. Drafting is just about to commence soon. Let's see what this place has to offer. So I don't know if you heard that, but the draft has begun for the World Championship event. I am so excited to see what happens. We have a lot of the team members in that draft. They're going to crush it. Eric, here with Eric, he's currently undefeated, but then again, so am I. Uh, Dude, let's go. Round one's about to start. We'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. okay, drafting has just concluded. The decks are being built as we speak for the Flesh and Blood World Championship. Eric Darrenheim, one of our best players, has just finished his draft. Let's hear how it went. Terrible. <laughs> terrible? <laughs> just absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, if I look pretty open at the end of round one, um, and then it just shut off and sealed off for the next two rounds. So um, we did manage to put together a deck. And uh, we did get a uh, Cornet Peak stamp. So we got Ooh, baby. A, at least a little value out of it. But uh, yeah, we're going to do the best we can. And uh, we'll get ready for the CC portion. We're sitting here after a couple of rounds of these events while we wait on the boys to see how they're doing. Some of the boys didn't do so hot, but it's okay. Jonathan thought there'd be any better way to cheer up the boys by showing us some shiny cardboard. He has the cards, he has the shine. <laughs> Did you see? Unobtainium. The un unobtainium? Yeah, 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 it's taken a very long time to get this collection. So, uh, yeah, I, I have had some people come up and ask me to, to buy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can't sell it because it ruins the whole cold foil aesthetic. So, you know, you got to play with these cards, though. You can't you can't just lock them up away in a binder. You got to show people what this game's about, right? Oh, yeah. It's about having fun, enjoying your collection, and that's something that I, I really enjoy, so. It makes me think we should have a, a ninja room blade just looking at these next to each other. Yeah, I can see it. So now we just wait on CC to end. We still have many team members live and friends live in this event. We'll just have to see what happens. Adam just, you know, sometimes it just happens like that. Could be worse, there is the calling tomorrow. I'm really excited to see how the boys end up at the end of this day. It's exciting. All right, it is the conclusion of the first day at Worlds. Today is Friday. Eric has done very well at that. Four and four on his record. Jeremy was 5-3. Adam dropped out of the event. That's from Sneep. There was also Joel and Brandon. Brandon went four and four. Joel also went four and four. So a lot of the boys ran four and four. So far, Jeremy's doing the best because that's how it runs. But we're gonna talk to Eric to see what he thought of the event and how it ran and how he played. Started off 
quite strong with a 0-3 draft. Uh, Uprising draft is not my forte. Uh, killed a lot of players, in fact. And then when it came to CC and I actually got to play a good deck, uh, I went 4-0. And then faced Matt Rogers in the end. He ended up taking it. It's uh, a bit of a punt on my end. I, uh, I flipped over open or flipped over two weapons. And so, uh, yeah, he got to choose which one. He obviously chose the winner as well, which is, yeah, the one that uh, is not so good. But, um, yeah, other than that, it was a great day. I had so much fun beating up on Fives and Briars that even though everyone qualifies to go to day two, I think I'm going to go to the calling instead. I want to play more of the, the, the classic constructed deck.